It feels as though every car maker out there these days is building four-door coupes with these rakish roof lines, except there's no such thing as a four-door coupe. Coupes have two doors. At least Hyundai has the decency to refer to this as the i30 Fastback N. It's mechanically identical to the i30 N hatchback, but with a swooping and perhaps more elegant rear end treatment. Hyundai doesn't have any hot hatch building heritage whatsoever, but the i30 N is a brilliant performance hatchback. This Fastback promises more of the same. Like the i30 N, it's a front wheel drive hatchback with five doors and a decent boot. That means it's just about as practical and as usable as any other hatchback. This one just happens to be pretty fast. The engine is a two litre four cylinder with a turbocharger. Peak power is 271 brake horsepower. There are more potent hot hatches out there, but the i30 Fastback N is hardly lacking performance. It'll hit 62 miles per hour in 6.1 seconds and top out at 155. This is no half-baked hot hatch. In fact, while Hyundai might have no heritage in performance cars at all, that's exactly what this is. It's a proper performance hatchback. It comes as standard with sport suspension with adaptive dampers, 19-inch wheels wrapped in sticky Pirelli tires, and an electronically controlled limited slip differential as well. It's time for car enthusiasts to start taking Hyundai seriously as a performance car brand. At a five under £30,000, the i30 Fastback N carries a £500 premium over the regular i30N. The cabin, meanwhile, is hardly a showstopper. There are some hard, scratchy plastics here that make it feel fairly mass market. Something like a VW Golf feels way more premium inside than this car does. Although, what it is, is a functional interior. It's hard wearing, it's spacious, it's solid, and it's all very sensibly laid out as well. If you want Volkswagen or Mercedes levels of cabin quality, you'll have to pay a 10 or 20% premium for it. The Hyundai does have a very intuitive infotainment system, lots of kit as standard, and plenty of variability in its drive modes. In fact, Hyundai reckons there are more than 2,000 possible combinations of throttle response, exhaust sound, suspension firmness, rev match, and all the rest of it. Hyundai has predefined five driving modes. There's Eco, there's Normal, and Sport, and then there's N mode, which is really sporty, and then finally N Custom, which allows you to choose the different parameters to suit your own preferences. Unlike many other more expensive performance cars, the i30 Fastback N comes as standard with adaptive dampers. They have a wide range of adjustment, so depending on the drive mode you've selected, the car will either be relaxed and comfortable or very firm and agile. There's also an automatic throttle blip function for perfect downshifts, although you can switch that off at the touch of a button if you want to rev match yourself. A good hot hatch should be two things. It needs to be comfortable and refined and civilized in everyday use. And then when you finally reach a good stretch of B road, it needs to be fun and exciting to drive as well. Those two things are so important for a hot hatch. And this Hyundai, well, it's certainly comfortable. In fact, in terms of ride quality, it's only a little bit busier than a conventional hatchback. And practicality, well, it's fractionally longer than the i30N, which means it's got a slightly bigger boot. By cycling through its various drive modes, you can really change the car's character. In sport mode, as you'd expect, it becomes a little bit sharp, a little bit more responsive, the ride slightly more connected. But then we press the button again and go into N mode, it sort of transforms into a totally different animal altogether. The engine becomes super sharp, very responsive. The differential starts dragging you this way and that across the road. And then the ride, the suspension becomes very firm indeed. In fact, probably too firm for a typical British B-Road. But that's where the N custom mode comes into its own. You can knock the dampers back into a more pliant setting, but keep everything else turned right up. Configured that way, the i30 Fastback N isn't a great deal less exciting to drive than the class leaders, namely the Renault Sport Megane 300 Trophy and the Honda Civic Type R. The engine is very good as well for a hot hatch. It's ideal actually for a car like this. Bundles of power and torque, good throttle response, it's an energetic, lively engine, and in any of the more aggressive modes, it starts to sound pretty good as well. That differential, which can drag you across the road quite aggressively in N mode is super effective. It means that even when it's damp outside, you've got really strong traction. The gearbox, that's very good as well. Lovely to have a good manual shift in a hot hatch. And it's great as well that there's a rev matching function that you can switch on and off 
at the press of a button. So there's an awful lot to like about this car. Should the Hyundai badge put you off? Not even a little bit. If you're in the market for a fun hot hatch that you really can use every day, put the i30 Fastback N on your shortlist. Thank you very much for watching. Please comment below. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Now, if you're not in the market for a brand new car, but you're looking for a used car, head to cargurus.co.uk. That's where you'll find the used car you're looking for from a top rated dealer.